Many times while solving trigonometry questions, we need to find the value of sine or cause for angles greater than 90 degrees, like sine 120, cos 135, sine 210, and so on. But it becomes confusing to know whether sine 120 or sine 150 is equal to sine 30, or whether sine 210 or 10 330 should be taken as positive or negative. So today I'll explain step by step how to easily find trigonometric values for angles greater than 90 degrees. For that, first you must understand the concept of the four quadrants. We divide a full rotation of 360 degrees into four parts. From 0 to 90 degrees is the first quadrant. From 90 to 180 degrees is the second quadrant. From 180 to 270 degrees is the third quadrant. And from 270 to 360 degrees is the fourth quadrant. In the first quadrant, that is from 0 to 90 degrees, all trigonometric ratios are positive. For example, sine 30 is plus 1 upon 2, cos 45 is plus 1 upon root 2, and tan 45 is plus 1. So in the first quadrant, everything is positive. Now in the second quadrant, only the sine and its reciprocal cosec are positive, and all others are negative. In the third quadrant, only tangent and cotangent are positive, and the rest are negative. In the fourth quadrant, only cos and sec are positive, and all others are negative. A simple way to remember this is through a small trick. All students take coffee. Here, all means all are positive, or the first quadrant. Then students stands for sine, or the second quadrant. Then take for tan, which is the third quadrant. And coffee is for cause, or the fourth quadrant. Now, one more small rule to remember. When our angle is near 90 degrees or 270 degrees, then the trigonometric ratio changes its form. Sine changes to cause, and cause changes to sine. Then tan changes to cot and cot changes to tan. Similarly, sec changes to cosec, and vice versa. For 180 or 360 degrees, the ratio remains the same and does not change its form. Let's understand this with an example. Suppose we have to find the value of sine 120 degrees. First, check where 120 lies. It is between 90 and 180 degrees, so it's in the second quadrant. From the rule we just learned, in the second quadrant, sine is positive. So, we'll keep a positive sign. Now, 120 is 30 degrees more than 90. Since it has crossed 90 degrees, sine changes to cause. So, sine 120 becomes cos 30. We know cos 30 is root 3 upon 2. Therefore, sine 120 equals plus root 3 upon 2. We could have solved it the other way as well by writing 120 as 180 minus 60. Since here we have 180 degrees, the ratio remains the same, and it will be sine of 60 degrees, which is also root 3 upon 2. Now, let's take another example. Find tangent of 300 degrees. First, check the quadrant. 300 lies between 270 and 360 degrees, that means it is in the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, only cause and sec are positive and the rest are negative. So, tangent of 300 will be negative. Next, we see that 300 is 60 degrees less than 360. So, we'll write it as tan 60. Since the angle is not near 90 or 270, there will be no change in the ratio. Tan 60 is root 3. So tan 300 becomes minus square root of 3. So this is how you can easily find trigonometric values for any angle greater than 90 degrees. If this is clear, then find the value of cos 240 degrees and let me know your answer in the comments. So good.